Hi, my name's Meta, I'm a professional nail artist and today I'll be showing you how to do some very simple nail art using NYC Expert Last Nail Polish in their wonderful new pastel colours. So on the first nail we have Lavender Cupcake which is a wonderful lilac colour already painted and what I'm going to do is use bubblegum pink to draw dots all around the nail. And with this, if you get your foil and put some of the nail varnish onto the foil. So for this, you'll just need foil and a cuticle stick. So just dab the nail polish there in the middle. Okay, once you've done that, maybe just grab your cuticle stick, dip it into the nail varnish, and then if you start at the base of the nail near the cuticle area, if you just put a dot right there. What's great about these pastel colours is that they're very long lasting, so they can last up to seven days. So you, you'll know once you've done your wonderful pastel nail art that it will last a while. Okay, so if you just follow your natural nail shape around, you can bring this closer to the edge or you can do it further in if you prefer. And then just back up the sides. Moving on to the next now, we've got Macaroon Mint on Emily's index finger already. And what I'm going to do now is not nail art, but a nail effect. Um, a lot of people think that glitter is just for parties, it's not something you can wear every day. But if you're using Gramercy Glitz, which is one of NYC's glitter colours, you can actually create a really nice, wearable, subtle glitter effect every day. So with this, we've already got Macaroon Mint painted onto the nail. So all you need to do is just paint the glitter varnish on top. And with this glitter colour, it's very subtle, so I'd recommend going for two coats. On the third finger, we've got Lavender Cupcake, which is the same colour we had on Emily's thumb. And we're now going to use Macaroon Mint to do an alternative French manicure. So if you start with the little nail varnish on the brush, Start from the left of the nail and bring the brush from the left to the middle and then bring it in from the right to the middle so that they meet and create a lovely curve. Be sure not to put too much nail varnish on the brush. You can go over it with a second coat. Okay. And it doesn't matter too much what the first coat looks like as that's your outline. For the fourth finger, I'm going to do a very simple leopard print design. You've probably seen this everywhere and you're probably a lover of leopard print. And I'm going to use City Blackout as the leopard print outline. Again, we'll use the foil to put some of the nail varnish onto that. And we'll use our trusty cuticle stick. Pop that into the polish. And on the nail, it doesn't matter where you do any of the patterns. The great thing about a leopard print is that you can really mess around with this on the nail. But the key is to do simple strokes. So once you've done your black outline using City Blackout, you can then choose another pastel colour or any other colour which you think will go really nicely. I'm going to use the Macaroon Mint to basically fill out that black outline. And again, if you put the nail varnish onto the foil, this time if you grab another cuticle stick, just so that you don't have any of the black varnish left on it. And then what I'm going to do is literally grab the cuticle stick, again, just dip it into the nail varnish, and this time I'm going to fill in the spots. For the last nail, I'm going to do a very simple zigzag look. So we've got Macaroon Mint painted onto the nail already, and I'm going to use Pinstripe White for this look. So again, we'll start with the white. Use your foil and put some of that onto the foil, some of the white nail varnish. And with this one, you do need a bit of a steady hand. But if you dip your cuticle stick into the nail varnish, and you can choose where you want to have your zigzags. I'm going to start in the middle and just have one simple white zigzag. Now you can choose to have the zigzag as thin 
and as wide as you want. The choice is completely up to you. And what you might want to do as well is just do a very faint outline and then go back, which is what I'm doing here. So we've hardly got any nail varnish on the cuticle stick, but this will help guide us when we come back. And that's how to create really nice nail art looks and effects using NYC Expert Last Pastel Nail Polish.